Question 21. The table shows statements about some properties of halogen and their compounds. An explanation. Uh, which row shows the correct statement about the property and correct explanation? Uh, so this question, uh, there are quite a lot of uh, information. Uh, and uh, let's start from A. Iodine is a solid at room temperature. Yes, it's true. Uh, but the explanation is wrong. Uh, iodine is a solid uh, compared to others like chlorine is a gas, bromine is liquid because iodine is the larger size. So the IDID means the instantaneous dipole induced dipole uh, between the iodine molecule is stronger. So therefore, it can be a solid at room temperature. It's because of the intermolecular force, not the bond energy. And the bond strength of the iodine is actually quite low compared to others. For example, uh, let's look at these three bond energy. So the bond energies of the iodine is 151 kilojoule per mole. It's uh, uh, smaller than the bond energies of the chlorine and bromine. So therefore, the bond strength of this uh, iodine is uh, not as strong as others, right? Uh, so A cannot be the answer, okay? Because the explanation cannot explain the statement, and the explanation is not really correct. Um, for B, the decomposition of the hydrogen iodide is more endothermic than decomposition of hydrogen chloride. Uh, this statement itself is wrong. Because decomposition of this uh, hydrogen uh, halide, it needs heat or the bond breaking. So, if we compare the bond energies of this uh, HCl, HBr, HI, uh, we know that uh, more energy needed to break the HCl bond compared to HI. Uh, so, therefore, the HCl is actually uh, is needs more heat. And for the explanation, uh, is actually the, not really explain the statement. Chlorine, yes, is more reactive than iodine because the size of chlorine is smaller. It's easier for this chlorine to gain electron from others. This is a this is a correct statement, or but it's not really a correct explanation. Right. So B cannot. For C. When chlorine is bubbled into aqueous potassium iodide, a purple solution seen. Uh, this one looks quite quite uh, good and is, uh, almost correct, uh, except this part. Um, so this is a displacement reaction. Um, so please refer to this uh, equation. So for this one. Um, we know that uh, chlorine will displace the uh, iodide uh, or the this uh, iodine from iodide solution. Means when chlorine react with iodide, so chlorine itself will reduce to chloride, and the iodide will form oxidized to iodine. So we say that chlorine is displaced the iodine from iodide solution and this one happened uh, for the more um, reactive uh, halogen uh, means the one that uh, uh, on uh, higher in the group so like chlorine or bromine they can displace the iodines from the iodide solution so this is correct uh, but we have to know that uh, it's not proposed solution. When the iodine inside water is actually brown or yellow, it's just yellowish color. It will not really form the proposed solution. Proposed solution is when the iodine is dissolved in the non-polar solvent, um, like the hexane, cyclohexane. So when it's non-polar solvent, because the iodine itself is non-polar, it can dissolve more in the non-polar solvent. So we can see the purple color. 
but in water because water is a polar solvent so the solubility of the iodine is not that much so we will see yellow solution and see the for the st this statement is actually wrong it's not purple solution it's the is a yellow solution or brown solution of course this statement uh, uh, this statement this uh, chlorine is stronger oxidizing agent than uh, this is true um, because chlorine easier to gain electrons compared to iodine so it can oxidize others easier for D when concentrated sulfuric acid is added to solid potassium iodide purple vapor is seen uh, this one is the uh, um, okay let's look at the reaction uh, then we go to the explanation um, so for this um, okay, sodium iodide with concentrated H2SO4 it will form the this uh, uh, NaHSO4 this salt and uh, this uh, hydrogen uh, iodide and these hydrogen iodides will further react with the uh, H2SO4 and it will form the iodine sulfur dioxide and H2O uh, it can form uh, different sulfur products it can form H2S it can form the sulfur uh, so this is just one of the products again so when the, uh, this sodium iodide react with uh, concentrated sulfuric acid okay first it will form HI and HI will oxidized by the H2SO4 and iodide now oxidized to iodine and the sulfate is now reduced to the sulfur dioxide so this is a redox reaction now for this one again when the concentrated sulfuric acid is added to so, uh, pot, uh, sodium uh, solid uh, potassium iodide uh, purple vapor is in yes because iodine is formed uh, this is correct um, and explanation is iodide are being oxidized to iodine by sulfuric acid yes as I told you just now the iodide okay it can be oxidized and form iodine so answer is D then. that's all thank you